I'm Rick Krieger. I live in Chelsea and I'm an artist and I was introduced to the Hudson Guild a very, very long time ago when my son came here for nursery school and my wife actually worked here for some time. When I was a kid, my father was a draftsman, so he drew and I just picked up a pencil and been drawing ever since. And I've painted, do sculpture. I do a lot of things within that realm. And uh, most of it's been shown here at the Hudson Guild. <laughs> Rick Krieger has been working with the arts program longer than I have. He first showed his work here in the early 90s. He was one of the first artists I met when I came here. We hit it off immediately and he volunteered to help me in any way he could in the gallery, besides uh, us giving him the opportunity to show his special work. Well, I was painting for a long, long time and I just needed to do something else. So I just went to the art store and I bought a couple pieces of clay and I came home and I just fussed with it. And uh, in a matter of, you know, a few months, started doing these figures and uh, I've continued ever since then. There's thousands of them. <laughs> Rick is a singular artist. His style is unmistakably his and when you see a Rick Krieger you know it immediately. Here you see an early painting by Rick Krieger done with tempera paint which gives it a slightly flatter quality than an acrylic or oil paint would give it. But Rick, from his earliest days, has been obsessed with creating these sort of otherworldly, weird, whimsical, bizarre creatures, half human, half animal. He does paintings, he does wonderful watercolors, like a Japanese master with very clean, easy brush strokes. And then his favorite thing is working with Sculpey, which is a clay, and he makes these little five to seven inch creatures. Uh, we had a show of his, of those creatures down at the Guild Gallery too about two years ago, and they are really his signature pieces. I wish he would sell more of them because if you can, you can see his studio is overwhelmed with all these little creatures. And I know that his wife especially wishes he would sell some of them. It's fun to see the people who do show here, how happy they are to show here. And it really is an important thing. They, you know, they work hard, uh, they, they really sacrifice stuff. And when somebody gives them an opportunity to show, it's the most fantastic thing that can, can be done. And I think that the gallery supports a lot of artists in the neighborhood particularly. Uh, and that makes it a really fun and serious, at the same time, experience. The importance of giving artists like Rick a platform is that the gallery has two purposes. One is to provide anyone in our community, from preschool to seniors, a chance to show their work regardless of their level of experience, and that builds confidence and happiness. And then the other purpose is to bring artists with professional training, like Rick, like William Wegman, like Louise Bourgeois. They educate our community about trends in art, themes in art, they expose our young people to uh, really accomplished works of art. And often people in our community don't go up to the Metropolitan Museum or the Museum of Modern Art. So this is a way to bring that kind of high quality of art to our community. Well, the Hudson Guild has been an important part of my art life. Uh, the shows here, working with everybody, uh, is really something that I, that I really feel has made my art better and uh, given me an opportunity to, you know, exhibit my work a number of times uh, and that's truly grateful for that.